Welcome back to Learning the Tarot. We are continuing along with the Eight of Wands. So this is the Carpe Diem card. Publish the book, follow your dream, all of that stuff. That is the essence of this card upright. Basically, it's saying success is yours. Your goal is within reach. And basically, much like the other cards that we've had recently, it's just keep going. Which I feel like is like a really common thing in this. And I wonder, like, this is one of those things where like, again, I compare it back to what I've been kind of noticing throughout the entire Wands so far. And that is the connection between writing a book and like having like a life as an author to this because really that is like the biggest thing that wannabe authors and actual authors have as a difference. It is easy to want the dream. It is easy to even try here and there at the dream. But it's when you give up on it that you kind of, you lose that title. You, instead of being an author or you are an, a writer or whatever, it suddenly you want to be that thing. And it sounds really mean, but I've seen it happen so many times over the years. I've done it myself, where there's been plenty of times where I didn't feel like I should claim that title, even though I had a book published, and I was like kind of working on one for a while. But now that it's like, no, I'm working on it actively, very consistently, and like I have attainable goals in getting there, like I can claim that title. And it feels like so many of these previous cards, including this one, is like, just keep going, which is like a big thing in the writing community. If you want to be a writer, if you want to be an author, you have to write. There is no other way around it. There is no shortcut. You have to sit down and write, whether it's by hand or if you type it up, whatever, you have to actually get the words on the page. If you don't, it's never going to happen. And I feel like these cards is just like a constant, like, do the thing. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Some are a little nicer than others in the way about going there, but the premise is the same. Like, the entire thing of wands seems to be leading up to this idea of like, just do it. Just follow your dream. Work towards it. Success or failure, you've got to keep going. Now, the reversed of this card is like kind of telling as well. You might be overwhelmed. Go figure at this point in the writing journey, right? Plus, you might have unexpected challenges and obstacles that come up which happens a lot. And that's something that I think anyone who has become their own boss probably has had to deal with, let alone in other spaces. But again, I'm using writing and being an author as the example for like throughout this entire thing. And so being an author, like inevitably, like you've got your first or second or even like, you know, several books published. So going along with our example at this point, let's say that you've got the book published and now you're starting to like do this full time and you're like realizing how many distractions there are and how easily you can get derailed. And it's like the acknowledgement of that is when this card is reversed. And a lot of authors will get to this point where they put too high of expectations on themselves. They think they can write more words, more chapters than they can in a day. Or they have a really high expectation for a project and then get really disappointed when they can't meet that goal. You know, if you wanted to do like Camp Nano that's coming up in like April, I think. And let's say you wanted to write a 120,000 word book. And then slowly but surely, as you track your progress on the like NaNoWriMo website, suddenly that gap gets bigger and bigger and bigger because it'll estimate where you should be at to hit that goal in that month. And then suddenly, halfway through the month, you're like, there's absolutely no way that I can do this. And you feel absolutely defeated. That's what this card reversed is like summarized as. Basically, if this card is reversed, this is the time to not force things and to just take it a little slower. You also might find yourself pretty disappointed in yourself and the lack of progress. Basically, this card is just reminding you to slow down, look around, and analyze where you're at. So I would love to hear what the Eight of Wands represents for you in the comments down below. Huge thank you to my patrons. I'll have their names here on the screen if you'd like to support me and get access to exclusive content. It is patreon.com slash nightwillowcrafts. Make sure to like and subscribe. I post every single day. And until next time, thank you so much for watching and bless be.